for YouTube channel. So again, this is Ease of Dating Tips for Success.com, and we are back again with another video. So for today, we will talk about can you be friends with benefits to a married man? So we all know that um, it's really a sin to have an affair with a married man. So the question is, can you be friends with can you be friends with benefits to a married man? The answer is yes. So, if we will take a look with those people who are having a friends uh, with benefits relationship with um, married women, married men. So, since um, marriage is um, it's not a pastime. However, for those people who are actually wanting it, who want it, or who doesn't like it, or who is frustrated with the relationship that they have with their partner, with their wife, so they go for friends with benefits, okay? So, um, so, yeah, so A and B are married, like B, like C, D can't or won't converse with A, is actually about it b forfeits their trustworthiness in on this special race theory of unlawful nuki so we all know that um it doesn't matter if you are um you're having sex with or if you're having an affair with your partner with with their friend with benefits um because it doesn't involve any emotion it doesn't involve love it doesn't involve anything anything that can be um frustrating for your wife so yeah we can be okay so how to have a this peaceful friends with benefits relationship number one is be straightforward so yes you have to be honest with your partner with what you're looking for and what is your intention for the relationship that you have if it's it's if it's only friends with benefits or if you love the person so you really have to be honest on on the things that that you want on the things on on the rules that you both need with with your setup so you have to be honest you have to be straightforward with whatever you say okay do speak your sex brain okay so um you have to, to tell them have to tell your uh friend who is having a friend friends with benefits relationship with you that all you want is sex okay so that's everything you want so you have to have a fulfilling sex or if it doesn't fulfill you you can go away with the relationship you can step back Number four is do guarantee you're sincerely prepared. Yes, um, make sure that you're prepared when you're having a friends with your friends with benefits relationship because it's really hard. It's hard to um to to it's hard to fulfill your needs, but at the same time it's hard to to lie on your partner on your wife. So yeah, okay. Number five, do practice safe sex consistently. So yes, you always have to have a, a careful sex, like a safe sex. Like you have, you have to have condoms and contra contraceptives every time, so the girl won't get pregnant and it won't be a problem. Okay. Okay. So next is. Do keep your eyes and heart open for new connections. Yes, so this is what I'm mentioning earlier. If you doesn't, um, if your friends with benefits doesn't fulfill what you need, so you can go ahead and find new friends with benefits. Number seven is don't have sleepovers. Yes, this is the number one rule of friends with benefits. Do not ever stay up at night and sleep over to your friends with benefits house or even if you are both in a hotel room. Right after the sex, just 
go home and sleep with your family and with your wife. Number eight is don't mess up. Yes, never ever cuddle after sex because it will um it will heat up the situation and you might fall in love or she might fall in love with you. Okay. Number nine is anticipate don't anticipate fancy odds and ends. Yes. So no dinner dates, no roses, no gifts, no games, no overnight stays, no nothing at all. So it's just sex. Make sure that what you're both doing is just sex. It's just fulfilling your sex needs. Okay? Number 10 is don't be tenacious. Yes, so this is a friendship and not a relationship. So don't be uh, a clean, a cleaner or a clean, like don't act like you're in a relationship because at the end of the day, she has, he has a wife and you are just her sex body. Okay, so don't expect things from the person and yeah okay number 11 is don't equate your friends with benefits with your folks yes do not ever let your friends with benefits meet your friends or your family or anyone because she might get the wrong idea that oh this she he is really serious about me because he wants me to meet his family he wants me to do this do this to have a dinner date with them and so on so yeah you have to be careful with with your actions okay number 12 is don't get this route if they meet somebody yes don't get jealous don't be jealous because you are not um you are not in the situation that you have to be jealous okay so make sure that you both know what you need and it's just sex number 13 is don't leave the room okay so um welcoming them to dinner to breakfast it's really not uh, a great practice whenever you're in a friends with benefits relationship so you have to know that that's the end of it after sex that's the end of it and you don't need anything from them okay okay so number 14 is pick the correct person so yes you have to choose the right person that you have the friends with benefits relationship with because you might get um angry you might um get disappointed if the person fell in love with you number 15 is be certain that you're both in agreement yes you have to make sure that your part that your friends with benefits know that you are really in a friends with benefits situation and not in a serious relationship so they don't have the um the idea that you guys will end up being partners like real life partners okay number 16 is be straightforward with yourself regarding why you need to have a friends with benefits association with this person yes you also have to be honest you have to make sure what are what is the problem between you and your partner and how can you um how can you how can you do something about it okay okay so yes we have to be um honest with ourselves because we also need to let ourselves know why are we doing this okay Number 17 is attempt your best to keep it sex as it were. Yes. So, remember that it's just sex. All you need from your partner is just, with your friends with benefits is just sex and nothing more. Okay? So, it's just sex. K. 
keep that on your mind. Number 18 is be vocal about the sort of sex you really need to have. Yes, since you guys are in a friends with benefits situation, you have to you have to be honest with with your part or with your friends with benefits um partner that what what do you need in the sex? What position? What fulfills you and so on. Okay. Okay. So number nineteen is don't give people a chance to pass judgment on you. Yes, um, the best thing to do is to not engage with anyone with this types of situation, since at the end of the at the end of the day, it is you that's having a relationship with the uh, a friends with benefits relationship with the person. So don't let your partners. Uh, tell you that you're doing it wrong or that you're a sinner and so on so um it is safe that no one knows about your your uh, situation about with your friends with benefits okay number 20 is much really severe it if you see that your friends with benefits is creating sentiments yet you are yes you have to initiate ending the, the the situation if your part or if your friends with benefits already have feelings for you okay how do you start friends with benefits situation relationship okay number one is play with the person you have to start um playing with them like flirting with them you can do things Number two is start connecting. You also have to start connecting with the person and um, you have to have an open communication with the person and you have to show them that your, uh, your intentions of being friends with them is because you wanted to have a friends with benefits relationship with them. Number three is set the guidelines. This is very important that you both know what you want and you have the limitations and guidelines. Number four is appreciate some hot sex. Yes, so since you don't have any feelings with each other and it's just purely sex, you have to appreciate the hot sex, the um how the sex feels so good so and you also have to tell that to your friends with benefits whenever you're making or you are having sex with them since you guys don't literally make love and yeah okay so that is it from us again this is isa and we hope you learned something from us and we will see you in our next video bye, -bye.